Uh, Thomas, it's finally here. Big kick off uh, on Sunday. How how do you feel ahead of your first competitive game as Leeds manager? Well, I'm looking forward to it uh, from the first day that I came here. Our target was to prepare the team for this game, and I believe that the team is in, in the best uh, way possible to to start this game now on, on Sunday. Sunday, Bolton recently promoted, was it uh, the tough test that you're after to start the season? <coughs> well, it will be a very difficult game. Uh, Bolton, as you said, promoted this, this season. They will have um, a, a game, the first game at home in front of uh, their fans, want to make a good performance and we have to go there trying to, to take the three points and and we know what we can expect there and what we have to deliver if we want to win. And how do you feel pre-season has gone? Obviously your first summer here at the club, do you feel it's been good preparation for the season? Yes, it has been good. We have had uh, 10 good days in, in, um, in Austria. Of course, that they cancelled the first game um, was not in, in our plans, but we find uh, faster uh, another opponent, but uh, with the three games we made there, I'm, I'm very happy with the with the team how they performed. But more than the result, it's were the understanding uh, of them to to let me know and me uh, to know the players about the, the the things that I expect from them on the pitch. And a lot of new recruits. What's it been like working with this group of players? No, it's good. Uh, players that we have uh, scouted, uh, we we know what what can give us, what they can give and what they can't. Uh, and from this, uh, we have to work on them. Uh, and I'm I'm very happy for for the players who came. Players continue to be linked with the club. Have you finished, concluded your transfer business for this window yet? Well, we we are still in in conversation with the uh, with Victor, uh, and we will see what will come up. I know a big talking point amongst the fans is the captain situation. Do you know who, who your captain's going to be this season? Well, um, I believe this is uh, the captain is something or somebody who has to be picked by the players. For me, it's easy to go out and say, you will be the captain. But I want a captain who is respected by the players, who is one that the player, the other players looked up to. There is uh, somebody, a leader, and uh, I said to the players that they have to choose the ones that they want to represent the team in front of me, in front of the board, and uh, they, they have uh, made their, their choice. Do you feel that's something that's going to be revealed before Sunday, or will we find out on match day at Bolton? Well, we have several uh, captains in the team, um, but you will see it on on Sunday, the, the the eleven who will play, there will be a captain there. So. You um, you come back here, Port Vale at home in the cup, Preston at home in the cup. <coughs> you had a taste of the Ellen Road atmosphere in the Oxford friendly. Just how eager are you to get in front and play in front of what looks to be a, a big home crowd, home crowd for the first home game? Well, I'm looking forward to that. I had a small taste uh, against the uh, Oxford, and it was amazing. Uh, the support uh, that we saw there. I also got the information that it's almost sold out uh, from our side for the game against uh, Preston, so uh, I'm really looking forward to it. But it's nice to have the, the support of the fans, but we also have to deliver uh, something. We have to give the fans something back from the support, and that has to be in, in that we compete well. The owner says top six is the target this season. Is that something that you and your squad feel comfortable to achieve? Well, I believe if you're ambitious, you want to, to do better. And this is the, uh, the signal that the club, me as coach, I want to give the, the team that we have to do better uh, than that. Of course, we know in which league we are. And this is uh, probably the most competitive league that we have uh, in the world and uh, we have 12, 14 teams who can mix up in, in the top six so here everything is, uh, is possible in other leagues it's not but the first team uh, the you can win against the first and you can lose against the, the last um, but this is also what make this league special. 
Final one for me, it's not Leeds related, but about another one of your former clubs, Barcelona, a world record transfer we've, we've seen this week of, of Neymar. I know it's not Leeds related, but for yourself, your former club, what, what do you <coughs> make of the whole situation and just the money being well, spent? Well, I think it's, uh, it's, it's not real, th this situation. This should not be related with the, with the football. Um, of course, as FC Barcelona fan, uh, I would like Neymar to stay because he's a great player. But only because some team has a lot of money can can buy them out. But this is how it works nowadays. Uh, all the seasons we get new uh, record transfer, uh, and if we don't stop that, at the end there will be a boom, and uh, it will collapse. Uh, this is, in my point of view, what what can happen. And there's no contracts who are uh, safe uh, nowadays. But of course, what you signed is what you get. And if somebody comes out of that situation putting a lot of money, well, 